All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be checking out the DVD Video Soft video converter. That's the unquotes free video converter, but honestly, it's more of just like a trial version because it puts a massive watermark across the middle of your video. But in the event that you're looking for a very simplistic, no frills video converter that just quickly converts stuff, because you're not a super duper tech savvy video editor or anything, and you just need something quick, this one might be for you. So all you have to do for this one is you just grab the video that you want to convert. I'll just grab this one, drag it in to the video converter, and then it says, what do you want to convert it to? You can convert it to an MP4. You can convert it to something streamlined for iPhone and iPad, AVI, MPEG, or MP3. But I'm going to do an MP4, it's the most universally used version. And all it gives you to control the settings is a quality control pulldown. Do you want it the original quality, which can be as big as the original file, that could mean up to 8K? Or do you want it something smaller that's easier to manage and use because you don't have a lot of space on whatever device you're going to send it to? In which case you could dump it down to like full HD 1920 by 1080 or lower. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at original quality. That way, I try to make sure that it keeps the same frame rate, the same bit rate, and all that stuff. And then once you're done, you can go up to Tools and go to Options, where it wants you to enter a key. You can change, like, file name prefixes and stuff. But what I'm more interested in is you can set your output folder down here so you actually know where these files are going to end up. You can hit browse to change that location to wherever you want it on your computer, and then you can just exit out of there. Now, once you're done, you can just hit convert, or if you want to smush all your files into one file, you can hit this little checkbox to merge all of them into one. But I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to hit convert. And it's going to warn me that this is the promotional version where you're just trying out the product, and you're going to have a big, ugly watermark in the middle of your video. Um, so if you don't want that, this, I think this converter is like 40, 50 bucks when it's not on sale. I think right now it's on sale for like 30 bucks. But it's not really a converter that I personally would pay for, but if you need a simplistic one that literally has two options because you don't want to mess around with all the little nitty gritty technical details, then again, this might be a video converter for you. I'm just going to hit convert, show you the sample, and you can already see it's going relatively quickly to convert this from an MOV video file into an mp4 file and this thing seems to take in just about any file that you can throw at it that it can read it'll also take avi videos which makes sense considering it'll actually convert to an avi so it seems like it'll handle the bulk of what you're looking for the other types of software that this company makes are things like the ability to download videos and music off of youtube and another type of video converter Primarily, their bread and butter is this, a video converter, and also downloading YouTube videos. All right, so this didn't take too long to convert this video. It only took a little over three minutes, and the original video was only just under three minutes itself, so that's not a bad turnaround time for converting the video from MOV to MP4, although your mileage may vary depending on length of video and also video file type. Then when you hit open folder, it'll actually play a sample of the video so that you can see how it turned out, and then when you're happy with it, all right, well, you can just exit out. Although, like I was saying, just be careful when you're first using this. You can't, this isn't actually free. It's got a very large watermark across the middle because this is more of like a trial version than a proper free video converter. Um, on the whole, it's quick and easy to use. I won't lie. This video converter is just bing, bang, boom, and you're done. That said, for more advanced users, this might not have all of the frills and thrills that you need if you actually want to use these for a video project or for something that requires a finer tuned control over the quality of your video and being able to add things like subtitles and chapter markers and effects. So that was it. It's pretty quick and easy to use. It's the video converter from DVD Video Soft. I'll put a link in the video description if you are interested. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a brief look at how to quickly convert videos with their converter. 
So bye, everybody, and have a good one.